Hey, in this video, we're gonna make chicken fried rice with cashews on the Blackstone. Stick around. Hi, I'm Ricky from RV Underway. If you enjoy the RV lifestyle and love learning more about it, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click that bell to be notified when new content is available. Leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you and share our videos. Now, here's what's going into our chicken and rice with cashews. We have six cups of pre-prepared boil in bag rice. We've already set that up, got it ready to go. Got four cups of cubed chicken. We got two cups of carrots and peas. We got two cups of baby broccoli. About a half a large onion diced about a half a cup. Got a few cashews, I'd say that's a half a cup. Some olive oil, some soy sauce, and about eight tablespoons of butter. So let's go ahead and get the grill ready and we'll get this meal started. First thing we're gonna do is prepare the black stone. We got it on medium heat. We're gonna add a little olive oil. and work that around. And since our rice and our broccoli have already been prepared, we're gonna leave those for last. We're gonna start off with our chicken and then we're gonna get our carrots and our peas on here. Again, we got our griddle on medium to medium low heat. We don't wanna overcook the chicken or at least cook it too fast. Now we're gonna get our peas and carrots on. Add our onion. Now we're going to use about two tablespoons of butter. We're going to drop it right between the two, bring the heat up a little bit. We're just gonna work this butter through the vegetables and the chicken. Make sure we get some of that butter down here around the onions. Now we just spread everything out, let it cook a while. This is really a very simple recipe. It's basically chicken, carrots, peas, onions, broccoli, some cashews, and about six cups of rice. It's hard to go wrong with it. The only thing you can do is overcook it. So keep everything mixed up and turned on the grill. And while I'm at it, I wanna thank Barrett, the Gimpy Camper. Check out his channel on YouTube. He does a lot of cooking and this is loosely based on his recipe. So go check him out, the Gimpy Camper. I'll, uh, I'll link it right up here. All right, let's keep this chicken turned. Mix up our vegetables. And since we've already cooked the rice, it really is quite a quick dish on the Blackstone. We'll give this 
peas a little mix up with the onions. And then we're gonna start dashing in our soy sauce. You're not gonna use salt and butter on this recipe because, uh, I'm sorry, salt and pepper, because you've already got plenty of sodium. Even though we're using low sodium soy sauce, you'll have plenty of that in the soy sauce. Now these peas and carrots have not been pre-cooked, so you can pre-cook them if you'd like. All depends on the amount of crunchiness you like in your peas and carrots. I like my chicken fried rice to have a little crunch to it. That's why we're putting the cashews in and we will not overcook these peas and carrots. Turn the heat up just a hair. We're about uh, about medium on the heat. Chicken's coming along good. When the time comes, we'll scoop all this together. We'll add our broccoli, cook it a little more, add our cashews really toward the end, and then dump the rice in. Let the rice heat up, give it a good dousing of soy sauce, and then we mix the entire batch up together. We still got a little while to go on the chicken though. This is going to make a lot of chicken and rice. There's only two of us, but we'll eat on this for a few days. We're going to go ahead and add another two tablespoons of butter. And we'll have four tablespoons of butter left for the rice. A little more soy sauce. Our chicken is almost ready. Again, we're on medium heat. Our vegetables are ready. We're gonna go ahead and bring them over with the chicken. Mix all that up. While we're doing that, we get our baby broccoli on. Now again, the baby broccoli has been pre-steamed. So it won't take a lot. Gonna add a little olive oil to the broccoli. And some soy sauce for the broccoli. Mm, this is smelling good. Turn the heat down just a hair. A 
Now we are ready for the rice. Four tablespoons of butter. And work that around the grill, the griddle. And the rice. Rice is a lot like popcorn. Sometimes the rice kernels will pop on you. So spread it out over that bed of butter. We're going to add soy sauce. You can see how much soy sauce we've used. Not a lot. We'll use a little bit more, but my wife is not a big fan of soy sauce. But really, that's the only seasoning in this dish. And you could use all kinds of fancy seasonings and sesame seeds. and But this is... Uh, a down and dirty chicken fried rice with cashews. Now we're gonna add the cashews and we're gonna mix it all up, add a little more soy sauce, keep mixing it. It's about done. I'm going to turn the heat completely off. Spread it all out. Give it the last bath of soy sauce. Of course, I can always add my own soy sauce later. The only thing left to do now is go ahead and maybe rotate it one more time, scoop it up, put it in our dish, and enjoy. I hope that you'll enjoy making chicken fried rice with cashews on your griddle. It really is simple and it's really fast too. I know we're gonna enjoy it. If you enjoy the RV lifestyle and love learning more about it, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Ring that bell to be notified when new content is available. Leave us a comment and share our videos. Yum. Until I see you again, fair winds and following seas.